Today I'm playing Demolition Girl. This was a simple 2000 series PS2 game released in Japan and then released in Europe, but they never released it in America. Developed by Tamsoft and published by D3 Publisher, it's, it's the same people that made One Chambara and Senran Kagura and all that sort of stuff. But they made this Demolition Girl game too. But there's no music or sound here, so I'll just talk. But uh, the story is that this model is on a beach in Okinawa and something happens. Ooh, wow, look at that blow-up doll. Oh, wait. She she has crabs. That's that's super good. And then, uh-oh, tentacle monster. I've seen this hentai. <laughs> There's no sound. I'm not muting it. There's just no sound for this. I don't know why. She got bitten by a tentacle monster, which defeats the purpose of the tentacles. Why did you even bother, tentacle monster? Oh, I feel so dizzy. Dot, 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 dot. Then look at the little guy flexing on her like, oh, yeah, I'm awesome. Gerum. That's a sound effect. She's gonna vore you now. <laughs> she can vore everyone. But oh, now she's huge. In Okinawa, fun. We get, you know, they had to put her in Okinawa to give her an excuse to be wearing a bikini. But you are going to go, we're not necessarily fighting her yet. We're actually just um, getting her measurements. <laughs> but you fly around in a helicopter and it have terrible controls. Just awful controls. The game actually looks kind of decent for a PS2 game. I mean, her character model looks good and it's smooth. It doesn't have a bunch of freaking broken joints and stuff. Although I'm playing on, I think, three times resolution and anti-aliasing, so it looks pretty good. Skip. We have to measure the dimensions of giant girl's body. We have to get her breast, hips, buttocks, and face. And then there's a cutscene. Because giant girl is all like, NANI! Don't go sit on that building. <laughs> that was that was lewd. I'm sorry. But this game controls really poorly. It's really slow, and you don't really have a uh, very good movement. Like it's not like I can use the the right stick to change and move around. So you have to kind of just, I don't know, it's, it doesn't play good. But right now I'm just measuring her boobs. Because that's an important thing, I guess. I think I'm on easy difficulty, so this is going up really fast. Nice. Now we have to get her hips. Ah! Oh god! It's my ultimate fantasy! And my ultimate fear! All combined into one! Is it my ultimate fantasy? No, I just said that because it's funny. Now we gotta get her butt! Aw oh, yeah, I'm getting your butt, girl! You can't do anything about it! My butt getting! Darn, I practiced this earlier, and so now I'm doing it really fast. I'm going to finish this too soon, and we'll have to do the second level, too. <laughs> ah, no, God! <laughs> Come back here! Now we got to do her face. Ah, jeez! Get the hell away from me! 
Mm. Let's let's throw down a piece of cake and she'll just be like, I'm gonna eat this cake. I'm a girl. I love cake. Because if anime's taught me anything, it's Japanese girls just consume cake. Did she just say it was Umai? There we go. Dang, that was only six minutes. I don't know why the graphics freak out like this. I assume it's because of the emulation, but maybe not. Because the rest of it's fine. So now they want to uh, anesthetize her and knock her out uh, so that they can study her. So I have to shoot freaking drugs at her. I failed this the first time I tried it, so let's see if it goes any better this time. But yeah, she's a model named Riho Futaba. Futabaka. <laughs> but I only have four shots that you have to... And you have to hit her either in the front or the back where they want you to. So right now it's like the front of the head. Wow, she destroyed that building. And I missed. I got one. Ah, there was a little. Now I have to hit her in the back of the head. So we have to. Uh, oh, yeah, turn. Ooh, that went well. And I missed. Yeah, that worked out good. Now I have to hit her in the front of the legs. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh crap. This might not be happening. She's just having a good old time, huh? But I can't, like, turn fast enough or easily enough to actually make any of this, like, doable. <laughs> well, that was okay. Now I gotta hit her in the boobs. Let's give her a cake. Oh god, this control's so bad! I'm too high, so I'm... Ah, uh, Yeah, that don't work. I can't actually hit her. How the heck did that not count? Oh, it's because I had to hit her in the back. Not the front. Now I gotta shoot her in her cooch. Oh, this place so bad. Ah, uh, this is so impossible. This would be kind of fun if the controls weren't just awful. Oh, back of the head. You can also like shoot her with a machine gun to kind of turn where you want her to. Oh, wow, this is going well. Wow! I'm going to shoot her and hope she turns around. Oh, wow, I did it! <laughs> Fun! Oh my god, what's happening? The helicopters transporting Riho Futaba has been attacked. By UFOs. Okay, now I have to actually shoot stuff. Still a helicopter? No, it's a jet fighter now. Neat. Okay. Ugh. Can I speed up? Can I do anything? Oh god. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is awful. Oh, God. I keep saying that, and yet I keep doing okay. This play is so bad. Let's just no. Oh, I just want to fly right through her. This blows. I'm not gonna keep playing that. That controls so terribly. Man, the first two levels are interesting, and then this game just turns to crap. I think there's only six missions. Yeah, it says right there. This was Eric versus 365, where I'm playing a different game every day for a year. Be sure to check out psxboxindies.com for daily blogs about the games we're playing and the videos we're making. Thanks for watching.